God gave you two eyes, two ears, and one nose, ten wiggly fingers, and ten useful toes. But of all of those parts, the big and the small, your chooser just might be the best part of all. A rock doesn't have one, nor does a tree. But I'll tell you who's got one. It's you, and it's me. You can't really see it. It's on your inside. For choosers are shy, and they quite like to hide. There are wonderful things that your chooser can do. For your chooser, you see, is what makes you just you. Your chooser says yes. Your chooser says no. And your chooser says there's some place I like to go. And when it is dark, and your prayers are all said, your chooser says. Nighttime's the right time for bed. Choosing's a cinch. Anyone can learn how. In fact, you can practice some choosing right now. What will you wear when you wake up? You choose. Will you wear a blue shirt or some purpley shoes? Will you wake with a smile or start with a frown? Your chooser can choose if you're up or you're down. You can play with a friend. You can read a good book. You can go to the window and just take a look. You can choose what to say. You can choose what to think. You can go take a bath so your feet will not stink. Oh, I tell you, your chooser's a fabulous thing. It can make you the boss. It can make you the king. But what if your chooser does not get its way? If your mom says clean up when you wanted to play, if your friend says that toy could I use it a while, but you don't want to share and you don't want to smile. For choosers, a thing that is not just for you, because everyone else has their own chooser too. If our choosers collide, oh, what happens then? Well. Our choosers can choose to be friendly again. We can choose to make up. We can choose to be sweet. For our choosers can order our hands and our feet. Feet walk right there, and hands give a hug. 'Cause your chooser means you, kid, are not just a bug. You could use it to hit. You could use it to shove. But please don't. For the best way to use it is love. When your chooser gets tired, you can give it a nap and pretend that it's lying asleep on your lap. You can let it relax. You can give it a snooze. You can tell people, "I'm tired. Now it's your turn to choose." And after you've given it quiet and rest, it will choose to choose more, 'cause your chooser's the best. When you use your chooser for longer and longer, it only gets bigger and better and stronger. Some people are scared when it comes time to choose. They're afraid they'll be wrong. They're afraid they might lose. So what if your chooser goes and makes a mistake? You're still not a loser. You're still not a fake. You can choose something new. You can say, "This is when my chooser will choose to start over again." God gave you your chooser, so choosers are good. He wants you to use it the way Jesus would. Someday you'll grow up. Then your chooser will choose some exciting adventures that might make the news. You may climb a mountain or fly to the moon. You might drive a car or a hot air balloon, but you won't lay some eggs or live in a zoo. Because there are some things even a chooser can't do, or your thinker can think, which will make you quite smart, and your feeler can feel, which is good for your heart. But your chooser will choose what you say and you do, so your choosing is really just choosing up 